Sniper Elite V2. Let's play this game. And that sounds such a fucking cliche. Let's play this game. I'm going to play this, and you're going to watch me play it. That's all. I played this game for about an hour and a half, maybe, to test it. I, I had some uh, recording and different commentary tests to get all things set for this commentary. So I'll play this a around a bit. Yeah, these all are all right. And the brightness is for YouTube because YouTube always makes the videos a bit dark. So you so it's better to have good brightness for it. Ultra, full HD resolution, advanced options, ultra, ultra high. Yeah, that's what you get. That's the highest, 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, V-Sync. I have to use this V-Sync because uh, while I was testing this, while recording, the image tearing is fucking terrible. So I have to go with that. Audio, music is a bit down because of the commentary. And generally, too loud music is always. It, it bugs me. Controls are they? They are what they are. Single player. New game. Ah, uh, here you can see I played hour and twenty-seven minutes the game, but I'm going to start a new game here, and I'm going to custom this difficulty. I like veteran enemy. It seemed pretty okay. Not rookie or elite. I'm not that good at this game yet. Anyway, ballistic realism. Gravity will affect bullets and your scope will be slightly less steady. This seems pretty okay, I liked it. This is too simple, too easy if you will. And realistic is just... Uh, I prefer it for advanced players in this game. Tactical assistance, I like it full, I like it all. I like to have it all, it makes the game better. Start game, let's go. Hitler's war machine, once unstoppable, was now on the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. Inhuman. Faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. It was a terror weapon. Pummeling Antwerp, Paris, and London. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V-2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last ditch defense falling back block by block and total defeat only days away, those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V-2 program's top men. He was meeting his Russian handler at the Brandenburg Gate. This was my chance to take him out before he could seal the deal. I was prepared, focused, confident. Little did I know, it would turn out to be the most difficult mission I'd ever undertaken. Yeah, well, let's undertake it. <sighs> Survey the ruined buildings ahead using your binoculars to look for enemy troops. Uh. 
yeah, that's pretty nice zoom we have on the binoculars. Yeah, there's no one. Let's go. Head towards the building indicated with the yellow mark. Left shift. Left shift sprint. Space climb. Let's move. This is kind of a tutorial mission. Land mine. Trip mine. And let's put that right over here. There you go. Okay, we have some enemies. Enemies there. Ist Throw a rock to distract the enemy from the door. Throw away rock to distract the enemy from the door. Throw away rock to distract the enemy keine Nachrichten, das ist alles. There you go. Das alles. And they will follow. Move. Oh shit, move! He's here somewhere. Right. No shit. Move towards the courtyard ahead. By adopting a prone position. You will be far less visible to enemies and will have a steadier aim. Yeah, right. As always, being prone also allows you to crawl into confined spaces. Go figure. Take cover against the object in front of you and move to the far left edge. Eliminate the sentry. Your silenced pistol. This one. Use a landmine to booby trap the body. Landmine booby trapped. That is done. Brandenburg Gate. I've been there. Von Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. Clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target the to further compensate your bullet for the bullet drop. The I more gravity. My breathing to steady my aim, and then shoot. Hold E to focus time. For focus time. Go and goodbye, General. Ah. What really? these killing animations they go in your eye Ah, 
no, damn. Seems so. Let's move. On. On Booby trap. Oh. That's a tank. Not a good friend around here. The character is pretty vulnerable to all and any uh, possible attack. That's it. I think we're clear. dead. I was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Four to go. That's the tutorial. Mission success. And here are some scores and points and accuracy. Whatever. Let's continue to the next one. Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility, where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Sure.
infiltrate the security checkpoint. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Still getting used to the controls. <laughs> nice! I fucking love this game. It's just too awesome to be not light. Give me some give me a moment. Can you hit me here? No, 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 you're not much of a shooter, are you? the street patrols. Why? We are in for a some battle. Uh, oh! Almost missed him. I suck it. New one. machine gun. Wouldn't be the first time he killed me. What? Is there a sniper somewhere? can see let's just wait for the heart rate to slow down a bit there you go that's the end of you truly right, let's move on
Ah, here. Here it is. My root. Come on, not prone. That's some damage, I'd say. Ah, uh, oh, he's still alive. Ah, oh, there he goes. Not among us anymore. Ah, oh, fuck. Once again, to get down a bit, so I could possibly take them both during the same focus time. Not quite, but almost. What? No. Ah, oh, there you go. Objective completed. Get to the vantage point. message from my wife 
She's coming back home soon from work. Hopefully I will get this mission finished before she arrives. Sleep tight. Ooh, we have a side. Really? Aren't you the fucking clever one? Yes, you are. At least you like to think so. Not anymore. There are supposed to be some collectible collectibles in this game, but I really haven't played this so much to actually start even care about that. Maybe later, after a few play, after the first playthrough or, or so. I'm okay. Like this one, this gold bars. No, it was here. I was supposed to climb it up here, yeah. That's the place. Get up. Now this is a vantage point over the street, you think? And here they come. Just body shot. Just take him down. Ah, fuck. I'm getting shot at. That's pretty weak for a tank. You hit one spot on top of it and it's all gone. Ooh. Oh! I must have hit some grenade or something. 
Where are these bastards? Well, that's all then. It's just that I can't... Oh. That was a lame shot. Someone there sees me. Okay, are we done? Is there anyone left? Maybe not. Let's move on. Search cradles corpse for the intel. Let's go. Can I jump? Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Oh fuck! You fucking kidding me! Ugh. Is that all? We done? Ah, oh, did I get the intel? Yes, I did. <sighs> Alright, that's it for the first few missions. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the game. I'll see you in the next part.